density is the uh, how compact matter is. It's how much matter fits in a certain amount of space. So density is defined as mass over volume, mass being the amount of matter that is present, and volume is the amount of space that that matter is filling. We write the equation in this form. The simplified form is D equals M over V, density, mass, volume. It is always important with equations to keep track of the units. Density, which is signified in the equation by letter D, is measured in grams per milliliter, grams of matter per milliliter of space. Mass, which is signified by letter M in the equation, is generally measured in grams, although it can also be measured in kilograms. Volume, which is signified by letter V, is generally measured in milliliters, although it could be liters, gallons, and what have you, but in the equation we're usually using milliliters. Also, it's worth noting that one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. In other words, the uh, volume uh, occupied by a, uh, an object that is one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter cubed. So let's just see how we would solve an equation. Uh, it's always important to figure out what your knowns are. In this case, what we're going to have is uh, if we know that we have 18.2 milliliters and 44.6 grams and we want to know what is the density, the way we solve that is we take the equation, density equals mass over volume, and we're simply going to substitute in uh, the values that we know. So we know that the, mil the, the volume is 18.2 milliliters. Milliliters is volume. So we'll put 18.2 milliliters and we know that the mass is uh, 44.6 grams. So for mass, we'll put 44.6 grams. And then we solve it for density. So what we'll do is, what we'll do is we'll enter 44 Point six. Interpret this as divided by, divided by eighteen point two. What we get is two point four five zero oh, five four nine. Now we're going to round it for significant figures. So what we get then is two point four five zero oh, five four nine. But since this has three significant figures and this has three significant figures, we'll round our answer to three significant figures. And what we'll get is two point four five grams per milliliter. Now if instead our knowns were six point eight grams per milliliter, which is density, and two point two milliliters, which is volume, and we're asked to find what is the mass, the way we'd approach it is we would substitute in 6.8 grams per milliliter for density. And we would substitute in 2.2 milliliters for volume. Now, in order to solve this, what we have to do is we, we're going to, the way to think of it is um, we're going to undo what's being done to our variable. Mass is being divided by 2.2. The opposite of divided by 2.2 is multiplied by 2.2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2.2 milliliters. Now what happens when I do that? Darn it. Huh. Okay, there we are. All right, now you can see it. Okay, now what happens is we see that this cancels out. So what I have now is just M equals 2.2 times 6.8. So I'm going to multiply 2.2 times 6.8. So let's clear this out. We're just going to say 2.2 times 6.8. And what I get is... 14.96 and since milliliters cancels out milliliters what I'm left with is grams which is good because that's what mass is measured in but this has four significant figures and we're limited to two significant figures so I'm going to round this so 14.9 since the third digit is a 9 when I round it I have to round up since this is more than 5 
So I'm going to round it to 15 grams. 15 grams equals the mass in this case. Now, the most difficult one for students is often when you have to solve for a variable in the denominator, as is in the case here. If our, known is, if our knowns are 48.8 grams, uh, which is mass, and 7.2 grams per milliliter, and we're asked how big is it, first of all, we need to remember that big is volume. Volume is how big something is, and so I'm solving for the volume. So I have to substitute in for the D and the M. So grams per milliliter, that's my density, 7.2. And then the mass is 48.8 grams. Now in this case, I can't solve directly for V. So what I have to do is get V out from another denominator before I start. Now the way I like to do this is I'm going to multiply both sides by V. So if I multiply this side by V, it cancels out, and I multiply this side by V. So what I have now is V times 7.2 equals, since these cancel out, equals 48. Now, I have to undo what's being done to V. Right now it's being multiplied by 7.2, so I divide both sides by 7.2. This goes to 1, and 1 times V is V. So what I have there is V equals... 48.8 over 7.2. So let's just try that. 48.8. Interpret this as divided by. Divided by 7.2. And what we get is 6.77777. Now, obviously, I can't have infinite precision. I'm limited to two significant figures here. That's my uh, limiting number of significant figures. So I have to limit to two significant figures. 6.7, since the 7 is more than 5 or more, I'm going to round this to an 8. My answer will be V equals 6.8 milliliters.